In step four of exercise number five, the following actions have to be implemented to machine the top of the mounting block inside the main pocket. An iRough operation must be defined. Add a new iMachining operation. In the Inventor Cam Manager, right click the Operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed and the default iRough is used for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the top of the mounting block. For this operation, the chain on island contour is defined as open. In the graphics window, pick on a top edge of the island contour as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. The chain icon is displayed in the chain list section. Right click Chain 1 and choose Mark Chain as Open. The geometry is defined. Click Finish to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool number 2, the 6.5mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the Graphics window, select the top face of the target model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the top face of the mounting block to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the iMachining Operation dialog box. On the Technology Wizard page, you can view the cutting conditions. By default, the wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 0.9. Now, the step down row is painted red to indicate there is a high likelihood that vibrations will develop based on the tool information and milling levels defined for the operation. For that reason, reduce the machining level aggressiveness to 1. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. Since there are no walls to finish for this particular feature, the wall island offset does not apply to this eye rough operation and an eye finish operation does not need to be defined. However, for the purpose of this exercise, the top surface of the mounting block should be finished. And for that reason, enable the floor checkbox under the finish section and enter a floor offset value of 0.12 millimeters. After the roughing is performed, the tool will step down to remove the floor offset. Because there is less force on the cutting tool during the finishing cut, the result is a better surface finish. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. First name the operation iRough Mounting Block. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool approaches and performs the roughing toolpath on top of the mounting block. It then steps down and performs a finish toolpath on the floor to remove the floor offset. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, step 4 is complete and the rough machining of the mounting block top surface is defined with the option to finish the floor. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedures shown in this video to machine the top of the mounting block inside the main pocket.